another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to swap faces in a photo in Photoshop. And so here's my swapped face image and this is what I started out with. So I'll show you how to do that. So I've opened up two images in Photoshop and you can do that by just going up to file open and then selecting your images. And then they'll open up in two tabs. You can see them at the top here, the tabs, and if they're not showing you can go up to window and you should be able to see the images uh, listed on the bottom there. So here's this image that I'm going to put in the other one. So I'm going to select the lasso tool, which is over here, or press the L key. And then I'm going to select the head with a fair bit of room around it so I can blend it in fairly easily. And then press Control C for to copy. And I'll go up to edit and copy. And then I can close this image. And then I'm in the other image. If it doesn't automatically flip there, if you want to keep the other image open, you can click it here, select it, and then paste it in, control V, or go up to edit and paste. And now you can see this is much too large, so we'll have to transform that first. But before you do that, it might be smart to convert this layer into a smart object. That way we can resize it up again without losing any detail. So right click on the layer and then convert to smart object. And then you can see this little symbol here. That means it's a smart object. Now the first thing we have to do is resize this photo. And to know about the size we need, we are going to make this layer a little bit see-through. So change the opacity to 50%. And you can do it over here, or you can do a quick shortcut by just pressing the 5 key. That makes it 50%. If that didn't work, you'll have to choose the opacity over here. And now we have to resize it down to the approximate size of the head below. So I'm going to press Control T and make sure you hold down the Shift key, otherwise you're going to warp your image. If you make a mistake and need to start over, press here the Undo button. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit by pressing the Control and Spacebar. And you can move around the image by holding just the Spacebar down. And now the things I'm looking at here are the eyes and the mouth to align them similar to the image below. And if you need to rotate your layer, you can also go on the edge here and rotate it a little bit to match up the eyes so that they're level. All right, so play with it a little bit and get it lined up. Once you're happy with how it's lined up, you can press the OK button and then bring the opacity back up to 100%. And then now we start merging them. So to merge them, you create a layer mask, which is down here. Now you can say this layer has a layer mask. If you're not sure how they work, check out a tutorial on those. And then now with the brush tool, press B for brush, or go over here to select it. And make sure your brush has a hardness of zero and a size that you like. And then on this layer mask, we're going to be painting black and white. Black erases the layer and white brings it back. So I'm going to be painting black on everything we don't want. I'm going to erase the all the hair. And make sure you're also painting with the brush at 100%. Right now you can see part of this layer isn't being erased because I'm painting at 90% brush. So up to 100. And that'll get rid of the entire layer. And then you have to decide a good area where the two layers can be merged. In this case, the neck is a good spot where it's hard to tell where the two layers are merged. So I'm going to create brush the neck here and merge the two layers there. And I'm going to keep the eyebrows of the layer underneath. So that's where the other merging spot is. And I'm going to keep the outside form of the underneath layer as well. And then you might want to press this eye button off and on to hide and show your layer. So you can see areas that you missed. It's pretty easy to miss a little spot. And when you hide and show the layer, it becomes easier to see what you've missed and what still needs work. And to help you blend, when you're working just on the edges where the two layers meet, you can use a brush of 50%. Like on the neck here, if I brush with 50%, it'll make the merging a little bit smoother. So it's harder to tell where the two layers are merged. And I'm going to use 100% brush. You can quickly choose the brush opacity also by pressing the number key. So 50% opacity can be chosen by pressing the 5 key. And the 0 key will bring it up to 100% again. There's a little spot over here I missed. Now this is looking pretty close. I can 
turn it off and on and you can tell when I flip back and forth but if you just saw this there you may it may be fairly hard to tell if it's been toyed with uh, one last thing though your faces probably won't match in the colors so you'll have to create a curves layer to adjust your uh, new swapped face so create a curves layer down here an adjustment layer and click curves now for this to just affect this layer below click this here merge down button and then you can see there's an arrow pointing down to this layer which meaning it's only going to affect this new top layer so if I adjust it you can see that it just affects that layer and it looks a little bit brighter so I'm going to bring it down just a touch and that'll merge the colors in if you have to adjust the other colors like the red you can go to the red channel and you can adjust that and fix any color variations there are in the two layers right and that's about it if you want to download an HD version of this tutorial or check out more tutorials, head over to tutorvid.com. <laughs>